So looking through the work you guys are submitting, I'm noticing some people who are having some trouble with a couple of um, the rules, negative exponents, which was the main reason I put this assignment up from a question um, that came up last week. So I just want to talk through what's happening on this and do part of it and then see if it will help you guys clarify. So with negative exponents, if you guys remember, um, in our mini book of notes, we have um, a phrase that says, uh, cross the line and change the sign. So that's the little mnemonic, to, or not mnemonic, that's the little rhyme to help us remember this rule. Cross the line and change the sign. So that's what it looks like when we do negative exponents. So quite simply, if I had x to the negative 3 over y to the negative 4, I want to have positive exponents. So I would change this to be y to the 4th and x to the 3rd. Cross the line and change the sign. What's happening with this rule is what's happening here in these boxes. This again is a proof where we're trying to show why a rule works. And I apologize, I have hit autofocus and I know that those exponents are still kind of hard to see. Um, so this is two squared over two to the fifth power. And the repeated multiplication shows the two twos and the five twos. And we reduce those numbers by this. We're going to take away two twos from the top, the numerator and two twos from the denominator. They cancel out because two over two is one, two over two is one. So we're pulling those out. What's left up here is an invisible one. We have to make it visible because we took everything else away up here, but the one is always there invisible. And there's three twos left. That's why we have one over two to the third power here. And again, I know this is very uh, challenging to read the exponents. This dot camera is just not loving them. Here's what the quotient rule is doing. Instead of having to write all of this out and cross things off to get my fraction, the quotient rule is helping us to subtract them. So I have here two over two squared over two to the fifth. I could just rewrite that as two with the exponents 2 minus 5. What would that give us? That would give us 2 to the negative 3. And we don't want negative exponents, we want positive exponents. That's why we would take this and rewrite it as 1 over 2 to the third power. So let's go down to this one here. There's three x's and a y. That means the original would have been x to the third y over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 x's. So x to the seventh. I'm going to do the quotient rule first. So this would be x to the third minus 7 times y. What's going to happen here? We're going to end up with a negative 4. So this would be rewritten as x to the negative 4 times y. And how would we rewrite that? Without a negative exponent, that would be rewritten as y over x to the 4th. And I want you to go back and look here. What happened when they got canceled from the repeated multiplication? These three x's and these three x's are canceled, leaving us with the y and one, two, three, four x's. So as a fraction, this would be written as y over x to the fourth power. So I hope that does some clarifying of the negative exponent rule. And let me know if you have more questions.